everyone, and welcome to the PC Coaches Show. Alongside the head coach of the Friars, Ed Cooley, I'm Frank Carpano. The Friars are preparing for the third week of the conference season. They begin the week with a 12 and a 6 record, a 3 and 2 in the conference. And coach, you talk about the key to success in the Big East, and that is to defend your home court and then try to steal one on the road. And you certainly did that on Friday night with a win at DePaul. You always want to try to do that. You want to try to be a, a very good road team, and you want to try to protect home court. And uh, you know we're going to have to protect home court this week as we have two huge, huge games. 71-64 was the final over to Paul on Friday night, and it was kind of a unique game in the fact that Fox Sports put a wireless microphone on you, and that's yeah. the first time you've done that during a game. There were no commercials in the game, and I wanted to give people a, a chance to listen into everything or some of the things that the coach had to say. Here are some of those highlights. That's my fault. That's my fault. I, I, I wanted to say, Alpha, you were right. That's my fault. That's my fault. We, we missed a dunk. And then we foul. Not not very smart. You know what I mean? No, I mean just seriously. That's the way it's not it works. good. It's not good. You don't bleed on purpose. You don't just start bleeding unless he's a vampire. Watch out for Dracula. One. Hey, two, two. You, you can Euro step three steps without shooting the ball right here? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. If I saw it, I call it. You know that. Oh, I understand that, but yeah, you know, you already went to the to jail after you robbed the bank and then say sorry. some of the highlights do you remember any of that stuff that you say not really you no. know kind of, you're in the moment and uh you know the vampire thing somebody asked me that afterwards uh, I, I don't remember i'm yeah. just i'm just excited in the game and sometimes you say things you just don't it, remember I, I think your intensity certainly matched uh the players intensity on the floor or at least you'd like your intensity to kind of infect them on the floor right well you try to you try to do it by leading you try to do it by inspiring i think the best leaders inspire their people and uh you know, that's actually really funny to listen to, by the way. <laughs> How do you think it went? I mean, is this something that you would do again? You know, I would consider it. I think it's very hard because, uh, you know, the microphone's on you the whole time, similar to what you do a lot on, on camera. It's hard. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'd say no, but it's very difficult to do. Were you thinking about the fact that you had a microphone on during the game? For the most part, yes. But right when you're getting into the nuts and bolts of what you're trying to do, you forget. And, uh, you know, you're live, you're live the whole time, so it's difficult. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it's great to be a fly on the wall. I always wonder what that would be like, uh, mm. you know, before the game, halftime, after mm. the game, in the locker room. And, and Fox Sports gave us a chance to, and you gave us a chance to do that. The microphone was on in the PC locker room at halftime. PC trailing DePaul by one. Let's listen. Now, again, on the road, down one. Okay, okay, they got a little bit of momentum. It's about runs. It's about runs. What I'm disappointed in, what I'm disappointed in is our lack of physicality. I can take a missed shot, but don't come off the don't don't come out of the game like we did something wrong. If you're being coached, shut your mouth and be coached. That's the end of the deal. Don't come out, tap everybody's hand, do what we do and accept coaching. If you don't want that, then don't play. But be accountable when you're on the floor. Let's make sure we do what we're supposed to do. If we do that, we're going to win the game. Yeah, they're trying to win too, right? This is this is this is unbelievable. It's a great game for us, all right. I thought our defense was really good for about 14 minutes. Seriously. So now we need our defense good for about 18 to 20 minutes this half, and we'll win the game, and we'll probably win it going away. Be a man, step up and make a play. A charge, a deflection, a shot, a free throw, a layup, an uh, extra pass, but do something to impact the game, and let's win the damn thing. Let's go. <laughs> Again, uh, you know, inspirational talks there and, and very general with your comments that what the guys had to do in that second half. You got to keep it simple for our guys. You know, they're they're stressed. You know, they're thinking about a lot of things. You know, what we're trying to do to win. You're on the road. Anytime you can steal a road win, as you talked about earlier in the show, it's really good. And I thought our players matched that intensity in the second half. I thought we were great. No, oh, it was great. You know, I, I was watching you. They had the ISO camera on you. And I was just watching you. And you couldn't tell whether you were winning or losing based on what you were saying. Well, you want to make sure that you're always even keel. In the huddles, you want to get a little emotional, then you got to bring it back down because at the end of the day, you want them to execute. But more importantly, you want your players to be confident yeah. all the time. Good stuff. I hope you do it again. I think <laughs> a lot of fans do too. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll right. see. Coming up on the PC Coaches Show with Ed Cooley, we're looking at the week ahead for the Friars. That includes a pair of home games. One, a rematch with the Creighton Blue Jays led by Coach Cooley's good friend, Greg McDermott. We'll hear from him next. 
Welcome back. The week ahead for the Friars includes a date with Butler at the dunk tomorrow afternoon, 4.30. The Bulldogs in action this past Friday against Marquette. Second half, Marquette's Greg Elliott hits a three, and that put the Golden Eagles up seven with 10 to go. Butler rally back, though, behind Keelan Martin. This dunk to put bat Butler back on top by three. Then later, he puts an exclamation point on his game-high 37 points. With that slam, and Butler takes the win. 94-83 was the final. So, Coach, your thoughts on hosting Butler tomorrow afternoon at the dunk? Well, Lavelle's done a really good job. He's at his first year. He's back at his alma mater. I mean, they're playing very physical. Uh, a great offensive rhythm team. Uh, Keelan Martin's been around a long time, one of the best players in our league, Kamar Baldwin. So we're going to have our hands full. I hope everybody in the dunk is excited tomorrow because we're going to need all the noise, all the distractions we can give Butler because it's going to be another tough Big East game. All right, then on Saturday at the dunk, a 3 p.m. tip-off against Creighton. The Friars will be looking to avenge an 83-64 loss to the Blue Jays in Omaha earlier this year. Sports Team 10's Tim McComb with more now on Creighton and its head coach Greg McDermott. Come Saturday, Providence and Creighton will square off for the second time this year. Creighton took the first game. This time, though, they'll play at the dunk. And Blue Jays head coach Greg McDermott knows another win will be no easy task. It's an incredible atmosphere. Uh, the fans in Providence are, you know, they're into the game from start to finish. And obviously, they've, they've, it, it seems like they've really embraced uh, the style that, that Ed has brought to Providence. You know, it's, it's hard, tough-nosed basketball. Uh, very physical brand of basketball and you know I haven't had a lot of success there finally won there last year but uh, it's a great place to play and a very difficult place to play. While the rivalry has been fierce on the court between these two teams since Creighton joined the Big East the respect off the court McDermott has for Ed Cooley is even greater. He's a great am ambassador not just for Big East basketball and Providence basketball but college basketball in general because he's a good person he's he's what's right about college basketball and obviously he's become a great friend of mine and that's no secret but uh, you know he's one of the guys that I trust in the profession and in this profession there aren't a lot of guys you can trust and McDermott hopes there will be plenty of battles between a Friars team led by coach Cooley and his Blue Jays for years to come I I'm happy for him uh, that he's coaching at a place uh, that he's passionate about, that he enjoys living, and, and his family's really enjoyed it there. So uh, you've got a good one there, and I hope he stays there for a long time. Tim McCone, Sports Team 10. How did you two become such good friends? You know, when he came in the league and, you know, when Creighton went to the, uh, you know, came into the Big East, um, I, I knew him when he was at uh, Iowa State in um, it's one of those things that just happened, and uh, I definitely trust him as well. He's a great friend of mine. We we speak often uh, on some of the trips we have to go on with some of these coaching trips. We play golf. He's a very, very good golfer. I'm not. He has to give me shots. <laughs> but he's, uh, he's somebody who I think is very, very good coach, um, understands today's kid, and I think he's an ambassador because he gives back to his community, and he's at a place where he really fits. Earlier this month when you were in Omaha to, to face them, uh, Rodney had a double-double. Uh, Watson had 20 points. I would imagine those guys uh, have to come up big and others as well in order for you to beat the Blue Jays well, in, order to beat the, in order to beat them, you got to do a great job in transition. They're a great offensive team. They have a lot of moving pieces. They play at a great pace. That's going to be a really tough game. Looking forward to playing them again on Saturday. I right, still ahead on the PC Coaches Show. Ruane Development Center currently under construction on the PC campus. We're right back. Welcome back. We sent our NBC10 drone team out this past week and to give you a unique perspective on the progress of construction on that new Ruane Center on the PC campus. This building will soon house the basketball offices and a practice facility that coach you deem very important. Very important for us as we're looking into uh, recruiting, as we're looking into uh, just staying with the, the current age. We're the last school in the Big East to have a practice facility, and I really appreciate Father Shanley and Bob Driscoll for, for doing this for us. When you're out recruiting, how important is the wow factor to have a facility like that? Well, any in today's age, I mean, kids want new. They want to see where they're going to be, and, you know, when you build something new with what we're doing here, it's probably going to be the best one in the country, and kids want to feel, you know, a part of that, and to put them in there where they have 24-hour usage makes them believe that, hey, I can still I can still get my work and I get shots sure. in whenever I want. So it's really, really good for us. All right, a uh, new feature this week for the coach. It's the Coach Cooley question of the week. And it's come from a fan or someone else uh, on a topic we may not normally ask. So here is tonight's question. I'm sure that there are plenty of college basketball coaches who you look, look up to for inspiration, but I'm wondering if there is a coach 
in another sport that you look to and, and like the way that they do their job and maybe use some of that in your own job? Well, Tony Dungy, who Dennis Coleman introduced me to years ago, who was at, with Tampa Bay and he when it was at the Colts, is somebody that I look up to. I love how he teaches life skills by using coaching. Um, he inspires people, not just as a football coach, but in general. Yeah. He's someone that I trust. He's someone that um, he's easy to look up to because he does the right things all the time. All right, and that will do it with this week's Coaches Show here on NBC10. A reminder that you've got two chances to see the Friars play in person this week. Tomorrow, 4.30 against Butler at the Dunk, and then again Saturday, a 3 p.m. tip-off against the Creighton Blue Jays. Tickets available at Friars.com. Coach Cooley, I'm Frank Carpano. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, everybody.